Other news continues on News Hour. The Secretary General of the Amani National Congress Party, Mboko Milemba, has denied reports that the Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mudavadi, who is also the CS for Foreign Affairs, has accepted to collapse the party in order to join the ruling party UDA. Now, Musalia, who relinquished the leadership of the party to join the cabinet, is report, reportedly angling for UDA Deputy Party Leader slot as he promised another handshake in the coming days. KTN's political affairs reporter, Im Manuel Toh with the details. It is a statement that continues to elicit mixed reactions, opening room for speculations as to what Prime CS Muslim Davadi's next earthquake will be, two years after another one that saw him storm into government by ditching Raila Odinga's Azimio coalition to join forces with President William Ruto in Kenya Kwanzaa. Our conversation must be serious about how to strengthen the Kenya Kwanzaa administration and how to work very, very closely with the UDA, which is the principal party in the coalition, and to even engage in even deeper debates. Don't ask me which deeper debates. And although he did not divulge more details, about the deeper debate with UDA, Mudavadi has blown the UDA trumpet with reports indicating he is warming up for the deputy party leader position in the ruling party as the party elections kick off this month. In 2027, we shall have one formidable party to face the opposition, and that party will be UDA. Are you sure about that, SJ? I'm certain. The UDA party constitution gives room for three deputy party leader positions. They are deputy party leader for policy and strategy, deputy party leader for operations and one in charge of programs. The move to increase the number of deputy party leaders has been seen as one meant to tame D.P. Rigadi Gashagwa's influence in the party who currently enjoys the deputy party leader role. So I cannot uh, say that I want one deputy party leader or I want three deputy party leaders. The members of the UDA party will make that decision. Today, the governor for Mudavadi is an ODM governor, mm. Otijilo. The senator is also see, mm. is ODM. Azimio got more votes than Kenya Kwanza in, in the Viga. Mm. The position that Mudavadi holds in government is what we call tokenism. You can be fired today and no lawyer will cry. However, the Secretary General of the ANC party and Muhaya MP, Omboko Milemba, maintains the party will not fold. <laughs> Reports, however, indicate that Ford Kenya leader, who is also the Speaker of the National Assembly, Moses Wetangula, has refused to bow to pressure to collapse his party and is, in fact, ramping up the party activities. Transoya Governor George Natembea, who has been embroiled in a bitter war of words with Wetangula, saying the speaker, who is the third most powerful person in Kenya, was out of order. If the president wants to, to talk to the lawyer nation, he'll go through Raila, because Raila has got 20 members of parliament in the western. Mm. Uh, NC has five, Ford Kenya has five, DAP has five, out of over 40. Already six parties in Kenya, Kwanzaa, have signed an agreement with UDA to fold, but the major parties have resisted the pressure, preferring the status quo. Emmanuel Toho, KT News, Nairobi. Oh, the coming days will definitely be very interesting.